34% of Americans who are vacationing this year plan to take a road trip. Now there are so many options for consumers out there outside of the usual gas-powered car. Joining us now as part of Yahoo Finance's Travel Guide 2024 Industry Insights, it's our very own Praz Subramanian. Praz, something tells me you're going to stick to plugins, not necessarily EVs for a road trip. Yeah, I think plug -in so. Plug-in hybrids, I should say. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, there, you have hybrids that are plug-ins and not not plug-ins and, and have uh, more electric power compared to the others. But yeah, I mean, traditionally speaking, you know, a road trip, look, with an EV, it's going to be a bit more difficult in terms of finding those charging stations across the highway. With Tesla, you might have a better opportunity there with the, with the supercharger network. But yeah, looking at cars, you know, looking at hybrids and plug-ins, you know, Consumer Reports had a, had a big report out yesterday talking about these cars and noting, noting that hybrids and plug-in hybrids have been getting better over the years, better technology, um, quieter, uh, more performance. Uh, better efficiency and things like that. And they, and they broke down a sort of a comparison here. You can see this right now with a, an EV versus a, a, an equivalent plug-in hybrid. So in this case, we're looking at, I believe, the Kia Nero, right? And, then, and when they did a kind of study on how people actually travel and what their fuel costs or electrical costs would be, in this case, the plug-in hybrid, the PHEV Nero, beats out the EV when it comes to actually running costs. So we see that there. The next example is the Hyundai Tucson, which you'll see in the next in the next screen, and that's a hybrid, traditional hybrid versus a PHEV. And guess what? In this case, the hybrid uh, is beating the PHEV. Now, I will say that this has to do with how the car is being used. So if you're doing a lot of highway driving. The PHEV will probably run out uh, or probably not be going electric so much and that hybrid will actually give you more uh, efficiency. But if you're doing a lot of city driving, the PHEV is going to be in all electric mode most of the time and you'll really save there in terms of energy prices. And finally, the last example is the BMW 3 Series, the, 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 the sort of uh, standard bearer there in the sedan market. The PHEV, again, beats out the traditional gas-powered car here. Not surprising. You're going to get that extra efficiency, that electric boost that will improve or help your uh, mileage there. Press, do we have any idea, you know, how available these cars are through rentals? I and mean, we've talked a lot about, you know, companies like Hertz really slashing their fleet around electric vehicles. Road trip typically requires, typically you're out renting a car first before you head out on the road. What's the availability like? You know, I, I would argue that there's probably more EVs than PHEVs uh, and, on the rental fleets uh, at, currently. And now, we, we, like you said, you mentioned we Hertz cutting their fleet. They still have several thousand EVs in their fleet. But I think but prior to that, most traditional car rental companies were buying gas-powered cars, maybe a hybrid. PHEVs were a bit more expensive and a bit more uh, kind of finicky with how you deal with it. You're not going to see or trust a, a car rental uh, uh, consumer to plug that in at night. Where are they going to do that? So I think you might see more traditional hybrids and maybe even more EVs now, but the plug-in hybrid was not part of the traditional car rental fleet. And I think you, maybe you might see that change a bit as people become more accustomed to how those things work. You know, Akiko, it's funny you mentioned uh, one of the, the, the best-selling plug-in hybrid is the Jeep Wrangler PHEV and also the, the Grand Cherokee. It turns out a huge percentage of those users did not even know that you can plug in that car to actually flip the battery. I, I, I'm telling you, that's what dealers have told people like me <laughs> and others. So there needs to be some education too. Yeah, education certainly key in that transition to electric. Proud Supermanian, thanks so much for that.